you know a show I'm stuck on and I cannot get off of it? What? Merlin. What is Merlin? See, I'm all into them old magical princess king days and they got black people on it. Merlin. Merlin, on is this on Netflix? Yes, and I can't stop watching it. That is, I really, and of course, you know, I watch Shit's Creek and these other ones, but Merlin, I'm addicted to it. You know, it's so funny because when we saw the Emmys and it's it's pretty old, Shit's Creek has a record for winning every yeah. award in its category. It holds the record now because the funny, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel had won a, a, a lot of Emmys, but Shit's Creek won everything. And the thing that inspired me is because I think everybody has to sit here and figure out during this pandemic, what is it that you're supposed to be doing? And mine, the thing that keeps coming back up for me is writing. I've always run away from writing, writing scripts, and I decided to write a movie. And the man that uh, won is Dan Levy's, no, who, G Eugene Levy's son. He created Shit's Creek. He won for writing, and he said, I've never written anything before. And it truly inspired me because the difference between those who dream and those who do are the the ones that do. You just do it. That's and I just was very inspired by Schitt's Creek, the creator and the writer. He won an Emmy. He gave you some. Okay, I'm glad you were excited. Look at you dropping a little little nugget for the day. I mean, because that that really is you. You know, you know people in your life that are always like, you know, I wish I could. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. But they've never done it, which makes them only dreams. And you're sleeping on your dreams. But if you just set about and do, and it's very hard. But I, you know, I've been reading books on writing because I always thought I was not smart enough to write, and I wasn't. You know, I didn't go to college, so I don't have the words. I wasn't prolific enough, you know, to put the words on the paper. And I go, well, Sherry, just do it. You have the funny stories in your head, and you're very imaginative and creative. So just write that. So I've just been really getting inspired by people who are stepping out and taking risks. And that's what I want to do. Step out and take risks. Do you understand well, that? Girl, I do understand that. I, do, I don't want to see if you liked my new hairstyle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I like your new hairstyle? It looks you. It looks a little. I look, I look like look a poodle. Dumb. Kim, okay, if, you wait, to, if you Kim, if uh, you had to estimate how long you weren't listening to Sherry, could you give us a time? Yeah, oh, is what I was kind of wondering. 57.3 seconds. I, I, I kind of want to get into That's your great. mind. You had me at a minute? I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what you had? You clocked her at a minute, Chris? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could tell by the expression. Kim, what goes... Yeah, because I could tell I lost her. And yeah. I, was, I was talking about dreaming and doing... I could tell I've lost Kim. And she's doing this weird stuff with her hair. And then as soon as I said, you know, those who dream, she was like, I just was wondering if you like my hair. What goes through your mind when you get lost? Oh, every, a lot of different things.